All right, in this video, we're going to talk about median filtering in OpenCV using Python. So we'll start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump straight into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we will see how we could transform this image here with a bunch of noise to this image here that is pretty much noise free. So what is median filtering? It's a method that finds the median value within a given region. Okay, so we'll see how that works later on. So why do we need median filtering? It's good to um, remove noise and for some cases um, to preserve edges. And how does it work? The way it works is you have a kernel here. So here we have a three by three kernel and we will look within the kernel and then choose the median value. So if we list out each number here, right? We have each number listed out and the middle number is our median and that will show us our uh, value that we're keeping, okay? so. The reason why it works so well with noise, especially um, the salt and pepper noise, which will generate noise of either 0 to 55, is because it's going to be in the extreme values, right? Um, it's always going to be outside of the median, so it will always get filtered out. So that's why in this case, there was a noise of 255 here um, that will go away. So let's jump straight into a coding example to see how this works. OK, so here we have our demo program. We're going to read. Um, import our modules, and uh, we have import os, import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then import numpy as mp. So we're going to call our function median filtering, and then our if name equals main. And we're going to call our median filtering function. So here we're going to read in our image. So root is os.getcwd. Uh, and we have our image path. It's going to be os.path.join. Pass in root. We have demo images. And then tessa.jpg. And in here, we're going to convert to RGB. So image equals cv. Or actually, let's first read in our image. Image equals um, cv.amread and pass in our image path. Then now we convert it to RGB equals cv.cvt color. And then <clears throat> pass in our image cv.color um, bgr to RGB. Okay. So here we're going to generate a noisy image. Uh, first off, we're going to make a copy of our original image. So image rgb.copy. And then what we're going to do is create some noise probability. Um, you could probably tune around these numbers to see what works for you. But here I'm going to use uh, 0 0.05. And then create some noise using mp.random.rand. And pass in the shape of our noisy image. So that is the same shape. This should be noisy image um, dot shape here. So noisy image dot shape, and then pass in zero and one for the width and height. And then here we have noisy image, and we'll say if the noise is less than the noise probability divided by two, we're gonna set it equal to zero. And then similarly, we're gonna do noisy image. Here we're gonna say if the noise is greater than one minus noise probability divided by two, that will equal to 255. Okay, so this is just some simple method to add in some noise. And we could go ahead and see how that looks like. So plt.figure, plt.subplot, uh, one, two, one, and then plt.show, um, pass in our noisy image, and then plt.show. So here we will take a look at our noisy image that we have generated. Okay, so it's a salt and pepper that we have. Um, if you zoom in, you can see that it looks like a very dirty car. So let's go ahead and remove that dirty car. We want to make our car nice and clean. So we will apply our median blurring filter. So image filter equals cv dot uh, medium blur and then pass in our noisy image, and then here is our kernel size. We'll use a kernel size of five. 
So we'll go ahead and um, plot our image. So plt.subplot. Uh, it'll be our second subplot and then plt.show. Um, and we'll pass in our image filter. Okay, so now we should see a nice and clean uh, filtered image. So now you can see our car is nice and clean. So it's all good. So that's how the median filter works. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.